Coming up inside LSU Gymnastics, the Tigers of the Wildcats in Memorial Coliseum in Lexington will have all of the highlights for you. And you will not want to miss this tremendous sit down. Ashley Nat, Sarah Finnegan to LSU all time greats. You're going to enjoy our feature presentation this week and then a big look ahead. A huge weekend of gymnastics, including at home in the Maravich Center on Sunday. All of that coming up inside LSU Gymnastics right now. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is brought to you each week by Women's Hospital. When experience matters, choose Women's Hospital. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. Dow, for more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate for LSU. Go Tigers! And Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Call David today to get pre approved. 225 921 8152. Inside LSU Gymnastics with DD Bro is an exclusive presentation of the LSU Sports Television Network. Hello, Tiger fans, and welcome once again inside LSU Gymnastics. I'm your host, Mike Smith. Well, it was a tough road trip for the Fighting Tigers up to Kentucky, but a tremendous learning opportunity coming out of a period of three meets within nine days on the calendar. We're going to talk all about what lies ahead for the Tigers. But joining me now is associate head coach Jay Clark. And Jay, it was a learning opportunity for the Tigers up at Kentucky. It was an opportunity, as we had talked before the show today, of uh, 13 routines to be in the lineup out of 24 that did not have a chance to compete at Kentucky two seasons ago in Memorial Coliseum. Yeah, that's true. And, it, you know, every every meet's got to be a learning experience for us. We, we're we're a good team, but we have not yet found um, that rhythm and, the, and gotten our footing in terms of our identity. And, and um, it's about time to get through these learning experiences and start <laughs> to see us come out the other side because a uh, very similar situation to what happened to us at Auburn mm -hmm. uh, where, uh, where we uh, kind of went up there and just weren't quite ourselves. Mm -hmm. and, and we don't see that in the gym when we're doing our inner squads and when we're practicing and those kinds of things. So uh, it's, it's uh, time for us to turn the corner and, and, uh, and start to see some of the things we see in the gym translate into these meets when we get on the road because uh, we still believe we're a team that can t contend for a national title. Um, but we've got to we've got to right the ship a little bit. Well, your team starts out as the away team always does on the uneven bars in the uh, in Memorial Coliseum. Bridget Dean has an opportunity yeah. to lead you off again with a very nice, very good 9-8 score. Yeah, and Bridget's been improving and, and steadily getting a little bit better in the areas that we that we work on. We've been trying to isolate a lot of the things that she needs improvement on, uh, really uh, creating a little better form in a couple of skills, whether. It, it's that bail to handstand or in the, in the dismount. But I thought overall this was the best routine she'd done for us so far. Uh, she's getting comfortable, and you can see that comfort in what she's doing. The routine has a much better rhythm now than it did three or four weeks ago. And so I'm um, very pleased with how Bridget's doing. And Ruby Harold in the third spot again, of course, the Olympian from Great Britain. An opportunity to really solidify that middle of that bars lineup, which I know is really important to you to set up the end. Yeah, it is. And, and, and Ruby has to go, at, go went after Bailey. And so after a fall, and I think that kind of rattled her cage a little bit too. And I, I talked to her about that afterwards, is that you always have to be in the mindset. Uh, that something could happen ahead of you and not let it change your approach at all. She got a little bit rushed in this routine. Uh, up until this point, had been doing an amazing job for us and been one of the best bar routines we've had all, uh, all year. And Kennedy Edney in the fourth spot yeah. with a 9.85. And then Sarah Finnegan once again in that anchor mm -hmm. spot showing exactly what it takes to be a bars champion. Yeah, and I thought, I thought Kennedy and Sarah probably uh, did – Routines that were indicative of the of the nine nine plus routines that they've done this year that they that they've gotten scored really well on, uh, but when you have mistakes in a lineup, sometimes you're not you don't box the judges in enough and and uh, and it leaves a little too much latitude. So uh, I'm not sure that uh, that those those scores are indicative of the quality routine that that we saw, um, but again. When you have the mistakes in the two spot and in the five spot, right. it can kind of mess the rhythm of things up a little well, bit. Well, and, and real quick about Lexi Priestman, you were describing how she just caught the bar. Just It was a fluke. She uh, she did her pack coming out of the first release and did the pack going down to the low bar and got her got the bar in between two fingers, and that uh, kind of jammed her finger pretty bad. And 
Uh, we think she'll be okay this week, but we'll know more when we get in there this afternoon. Of course, all of our highlights brought to you as always by TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. You flip it over to rotation number two, over to over to vaulting, and the Tigers look like okay. You're trying to gather everybody together uh, there between the between the rotations, Jay, and you're trying to tell them exactly what. Yeah, well, I thought actually I thought we did a nice job vaulting, mm -hmm. and I think. The, the, the message at that point was just to stay aggressive. We, we knew that we had kind of dug a hole for mm -hmm. ourselves on the first event, but to stay in the right mindset and to, the, the meet's not over till it's over and all, both teams have to do uh, all four events. And we felt good, we still felt good about where we were at that point in terms of uh, mm -hmm. our ability to win the meet. And I thought the vaults overall were very good. Mm -hmm. um, uh, I didn't see anybody kind of shrink or do anything uh, out of the ordinary. So I, I thought vault was pretty solid. 9-9 nine, nine start value, of course, for Sarah Finnegan again goes 9-8-2-5. Some of the other superlatives, Ruby Harold's vault continues yeah. to improve, 9-8-5. Yeah. Lexi Priestman also with the 9-8-5. Mm -hmm. We moved Lexi back down and just did the full with her. Uh, we were on the road and with McKenna having been sick and, and Bailey's back hurt and we didn't put an alternate uh, out there to warm up. So we didn't want to take too many chances with, with anything. So uh, made uh, Lexi do the full instead of the one and a half. Uh, which should be back uh, as we move forward. But uh, I thought I thought you mentioned Ruby's vault. I mm -hmm. thought Ruby's vault was huge, probably the best vault she's done all year long. Did take the step, uh, but that's okay. We're allowing for that as long as the as long as the dynamics of the vault are very good. Mm -hmm. That landing is going to start to come as she goes. Uh, Sarah started off with a, an amazing vault, as mm -hmm. she always does. And, and again, you know, felt like sometimes uh, the performances didn't exactly line up with. Uh, you know, people people mm -hmm. that look at a score sheet later might exactly. think, well, what was wrong with their vault? And and that's just the differences in judging from from venue to venue. And I, I'm really I'm really not concerned with the the scores as much as I am the performance. And I thought the performance overall in vault one through six was pretty good. And Kennedy had me in the anchor spot. Yeah. I know you look to rely on her in in many capacities as the season moves forward, but none more important than on vaulting. Yeah, not not many better one and a half than that one in the country that when she does it well and. And uh, her, she's finding the landings more and more and more. We see it every day in practice. So um, just overall a very solid, solid vault rotation for us. The Tigers and the Wildcats in a cat fight in Memorial Coliseum. The second half of the Tigers and Kentucky coming up right after this quick timeout. When you're expecting, you have expectations. But what if there was more? What if your caregivers were your teachers and your cheerleaders? And they helped you plan and prepare so you can have a voice in your care. This is the experience of a lifetime, and experience matters. Your experience starts with the Pregnancy Navigator at Woman's Hospital. This is Academy Sports and Outdoors. We offer a huge sports and outdoors selection of top name brand gear like you've never seen all at low prices like you've never seen. Because we're a sports and outdoor store like you've never seen. Visit us in store or at academy.com for the guaranteed lowest prices. Academy Sports and Outdoors, for all for less. day to day or maybe it's not maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways maybe today you'll make that breakthrough and maybe tonight you'll break through too maybe it'll rain maybe you'll shine or today could just be one of those days for the unpredictable and the unencumbered at LSU maybe counts for a little something extra maybe absolutely When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. 
be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Assurance Financial. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. Lending the way home buyers prefer it. Welcome back inside LSU Gymnastics from the beautiful LSU Gymnastics Training Center on the LSU campus in Baton Rouge. Come by and see us if you're in the area. It's almost time for the azaleas to start blooming. A special time, springtime here, Jay, on the Absolutely. LSU campus. Hard to beat here in Baton Rouge. And the Tigers in the second half of, uh, of the meet up at Memorial Coliseum Friday night against the Kentucky Wildcats. It looked like you were beginning to kind of find your feet a little bit there. And, you, and of course, as the away team, the third event, is for floor exercise, tremendous opportunity to get right back in the thick of the meat. Yeah, and I thought at that point, you know, things had sort of stabilized a little bit coming out of vault, and uh, and we got over there and, and were very encouraged by two performances in particular that stood out in my mind because Sarah Finnegan had been sick all week long mm -hmm. and really had not trained, and Reagan Campbell had come off of a little bit of an ankle injury that had occurred at Alabama a couple of weeks ago and had not been able to train until the inter-squad day before we left. Both of them went in, both of them hit probably the best, I think they were the highest two scoring routines we had in the lineup, so um, I don't know what lesson there is to learn in that, <laughs> whether or not we're, we're you know, but, but, but uh, nonetheless, very pleased with, uh, with that. I thought Desiderio did a better job mm -hmm. um, in terms of just being able to get through her floor routine. Now Nine, eight score. And we've got to tighten up that execution a little bit, but uh, those were the things that stand out in my mind, and I felt like it was a pretty solid go around there. We did have um, some step out of bounds mm -hmm. and some uncharacteristic things that occurred. Um, but overall, I felt like the endurance of the team and the strength, the physical strength of the team looked very good. Each and every week, Women's Hospital sponsors our exceptional performer of the week. When you need experience and experience matters, count on Woman's Hospital. Jay, I think looking at the uh, looking at the balance beam this week, there was one particular gymnast that absolutely stands out. Yeah. Bridget Dean. Yeah, Bridget has been doing an amazing job. And coming out of last year when we lose Maya Hambrick and Aaron McAdag in that one-two spot that had been such a, a, an amazing stabilizer for that event for several years, mm. uh, we knew that Sammy and Bridget were going to, you know, going to have to take a little time to get their footing. But we believed in their potential and knew that, that they're the kind of routines that can certainly score with what Maya and, and, uh, and Aaron had done. And I think what you're just beginning to see with Bridget there is, is a, a confidence building um, sort of situation over the last several weeks. She's gotten a little better each week and, and just really looks confident up there. Very aggressive mm -hmm. in all of her skills, uh, a nice rhythm throughout. She's uh, very poised on the balance beam. And so uh, we're very encouraged by what we saw there. 9875 for the sophomore. And I know you have big plans for Bridget Dean. And it seems like she's really settling in into being a Tiger in the lineup. Yeah, and it, last year was a little bit of a rough year for her. But uh, this year she's gotten, you know, she's very relevant on two events mm -hmm. and, and is making the most of that opportunity and um, continues to grow both on uh, those events and on floor exercise. And there's a chance that you'll see her there uh, at some point this season as well. Woman's Hospital presenting our exceptional performer of the week this week is Bridget Dean on balance beam for the Fighting Tigers and a pretty good beam set for the rest of the Tigers or the rest of the yeah. way. Yeah, I thought it was the best event we had all night. And of course, at that point, the pressure was off. There, there was no doubt we at that point we had uh, probably lost the meet, mm -hmm. but I think uh, they finally, you know, they finally kind of woke up. We were flat for some reason when we started this meet. I, I couldn't really put my finger on it, but mm -hmm. um, we'll figure that out and, and, and address it. But uh, as the meet went on, I thought they began to kind of engage a little bit, and finally on balance beam we really put together what was a what was a great rotation, uh, top to bottom. I didn't see a bad set. Uh, really in there. We really need to uh, uh, punctuate uh, McKenna Kelly again in the balance team again this week with a tremendous 9A5 score. And then, of course, you wrap it up there with Reagan Campbell, Sarah Finnegan. I, I think one of the best duos to end balance beam in all the country. And there's no doubt. I think Reagan actually is underrated as a beam worker. I'd like to see uh, people begin to recognize that that kid, that, that, that's, a, that's an all-American mm -hmm. national championship type beam set that is, that is in there that's setting up the end of our uh, beam lineup. And, and again, you mentioned McKenna. Mm -hmm. I think McKenna has grown a lot as a competitor on this event and was thrown into this situation as a result of Sammy uh, having, the, uh, having the injury a couple of weeks ago and mm -hmm. has really accepted it as a senior after not having done beam very much, uh, if at all 
for us in her entire career and did a great job, particularly after our leadoff, uh, Christina had, had messed up a little bit. So mm -hmm. um, very pleased with the, with the mental mindset of, of what, what, what happened on Balance Beam. We've got to be able to put a complete meet together, though, going forward, Mike, and that's, mm -hmm. um, that's really the challenge coming up. Well, we have so much more for you straight ahead inside LSU Gymnastics. Don't change that dial. We'll be right back. This is Academy Sports and Outdoors. We offer a huge sports and outdoors selection of top name brand gear like you've never seen. All at low prices like you've never seen because we're a sports and outdoor store like you've never seen. Visit us in store or at academy.com for the guaranteed lowest prices. Academy Sports and Outdoors for all for less. When you find the home you want to buy, choose a mortgage lender that can help you buy it. David Alello with Assurance Financial. David specializes in helping first-time home buyers, offering conventional FHA, VA, RD construction, and jumbo loans. David takes the hassle out of getting a home loan while making you feel right at home. Lending the way you like it. Call David today at 921-8152. That's 921-8152. David Alello with Assurance Financial. When company comes to town, company's coming! We go all out. All you gotta do is get down here and visit Baton Rouge. The 2019 SEC Gymnastic Championship is headed to New Orleans, Louisiana on Saturday, March 23rd. Where the elite student athletes in the country will compete for the SEC Gymnastics Championship title. We'll see you in the Big Easy at Smoothie King Center on March 23rd. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit secsports.com. SEC Gymnastics, it just means more. Big day today, or maybe it's not. Maybe it's just a normal day in a normal place with normal crawfish prepared 36 ways. Maybe today you'll make that breakthrough, and maybe tonight you'll break through too. Maybe it'll rain, maybe you'll shine, or today could just be one of those days. For the unpredictable and the unencumbered, at LSU, maybe counts for a little something extra. Maybe, absolutely. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by TJ Ribs. TJ Ribs, legendary Louisiana barbecue. This week's feature is a spotlight on LSU's Sarah Finnegan, and it's brought to you by Dow. For over 60 years, Dow has been a valuable partner of the LSU team. Dow says, go Tigers. How about go Tigers for Sarah? Uh, you know, what do you say, Jay? The superlatives are, uh, are growing by the day. Uh, a national champion, an alternate on the Olympic team, a and she seems that she really has an eye of the tiger to finish so strong here in her senior campaign. I'll tell you what, when you when you say Sarah Finnegan to me, you're going to get a lot of my my face brightens up, and and, uh, and and there's there's so many things about her, and it's not just the gymnastics that goes with it, and certainly her ability to be as consistent as she's been, and the the accolades that she continues to receive, and the way she's improved year over year over year. Uh, it, it's just a testament to the character of the individual. She's an amazing person, the way she conducts herself as a leader on our team, the way she conducts herself in the classroom, the way she conducts herself in life. Um, she's as even keeled and as emotionally unflappable as any gymnast that I've ever been around uh, in my 29 years of doing this. And I'm, I'm just so proud of her and, um, and really, really those kind, she's a generational type kid you, you, every coach should have the opportunity to coach uh, someone with the character and the, and the mindset of a Sarah Finnegan well with a couple of individual victories uh, at Kentucky on Friday night Sarah Finnegan passes a legend here at LSU and Ashley Natt and we had a chance to sit down with both Sarah Finnegan and Ashley Natt to talk to them about Sarah Finnegan becoming one of the all-time greats here at LSU Sarah Finnegan has already authored a Hall of Fame career with LSU Gymnastics. A 12-time All-American, 
the 2018 SEC Gymnast of the Year and the first national champion on uneven bars at LSU. But the senior from Lee Summit, Missouri, continues to rewrite the record books, helping push the Tigers to new heights during her career. Finnegan recently won her 63rd event title, a special moment as she passed former teammate Ashley Natt in the process. You know, we've had special moments like that, and it's cool to say that, you know, we've had, we've had a similar career, we've had um, similar awards given, and I think it's a huge honor, and it's um, really cool to say that, you know, I'm one of the top ten amazing gymnasts that have been at LSU that have won X amount of individual awards. Nat and Finnegan were teammates for two of the most successful seasons ever at LSU, finishing with a pair of SEC titles and two national runner-up finishes at the Super Six. Nat has enjoyed having a front row seat for Finnegan's career. Being on the team with her was cool in itself, um, but I think just being able to watch from the sidelines has been even more fun for me because I'm not so involved in like what I have to do in my own performance that I can be able to just watch and enjoy the process of seeing her put in the work and then seeing the direct result of that. In 2017, Finnegan and Nat each won an individual national title for the Tigers. Sarah recorded a 995 on the uneven bars, while Nat was nearly flawless on floor with her routine garnering a 99625. Both women pull from those performances to help lead LSU today. We all got to be there on that one night. That was so fun and like such an amazing environment. Um, but they have those accomplishments and they have those things that are confidence builders and that can push them forward into their career. So like that's kind of how my career ended. But for them, it's something that gets to propel them forward. And so it's not something that should add pressure to them and who they are, but it should um, make them more confident going into their future performances. While the individual honors continue to roll in, Finnegan remains focused on the team's goal of winning a championship. Because we're not done, and we still have so much more to accomplish. Um, you know, individual awards are great, but that's not, that's not my goal. That's, and I don't think that's the rest of the team's goal. Um, what we want is a championship. We want an SEC title. We want a national championship title. Um, and that's not done by one person. It's done as a whole. It's done collectively as a group. And so I'm really looking forward to making my contribution into accomplishing that goal. Reporting for Inside LSU Gymnastics, I'm Garrett Walbert. This is Academy Sports and Outdoors. We offer a huge sports and outdoors selection of top name brand gear like you've never seen. All at low prices like you've never seen. Because we're a sports and outdoor store like you've never seen. Visit us in store or at academy.com for the guaranteed lowest prices. Academy Sports and Outdoors for all for less. It's times like these when you've got to stay centered. The 2018 Nissan Rogue, with available Pro Pilot Assist that can help keep you centered in your lane. Experience it only at your local Nissan store. Now the most exciting tech you own is in your driveway. Get to Nissan, proud supporter of college athletics. <laughs> This is the Nelson family. Wi-Fi's good. And their panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. Connected here. They're helping us demonstrate the speed and coverage of its super fast signal. Here it comes. It covers every device and every inch of their home. He's coming back up. And with extenders, every room is connected. Cover every corner of your home with super fast panoramic Wi-Fi from Cox. At Deli DeBosia, we're proud to serve Tiger Nation as the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. To us, that means when one of you gets knocked down, we're there to pick you up. And hopefully, we're making Louisiana a little safer in the process. We take pride in fighting for our fellow Tiger fans. It's a great responsibility, but even a greater honor. Demand Dudley DeBosia, the official injury lawyers of LSU Athletics. 444-4444. The 2019 SEC Gymnastic Championship is headed to New Orleans, Louisiana on Saturday, March 23rd. Where the elite student athletes in the country will compete for the SEC Gymnastics Championship title. 
We'll see you in the Big Easy at Smoothie King Center on March 23rd. For more information and to purchase your tickets, visit secsports.com. SEC Gymnastics. It just means more. When you're more than a fan, the game never ends. Greatness doesn't live in the end zone, at the net, or above the rim. It lives within every LSU student athlete. And it's your calling to bring out their greatness. On the field, in the classroom, and in life. We are the Tiger Athletic Foundation. For decades, we've been the team behind our Tigers. Join us. Be more than a fan. This segment of Inside LSU Gymnastics is brought to you by Dow. Dow. For more than 60 years, Dow has been a dedicated teammate for LSU. Go Tigers! This week's look ahead brought to you by Assurance Financial, lending the way home buyers prefer it. Jay, an opportunity to go back on the road. You go up to the St. Louis area, Sarah Finnegan's uh, old stomping grounds, and then return home back to the SEC for a big meet in the Maravich Center on Sunday. Yeah, well, you know, these back-to-back -back things, we try to do one a year, and it, it, it has a, uh, a two-fold effect. Number one, it, it helps us prepare for the postseason when we've got to compete back-to-back -back days, and we have to do that even more now as, mm -hmm. as the regional format has changed. But it also get, gives us a chance to get on the podium. We go to a podium meet every year where we mm -hmm. get on that raised surface. There's a different flex to that, makes the equipment feel a little bit different, and it's just a chance for us to kind of go through that adjustment earlier in the year so that when we get on the, in the postseason, um, hopefully there's less of a learning curve. There you go. And speaking of learning curves and getting back in the gym, some good news about Sammy Durant. Absolutely. We will be, we'll see Sammy back this week in practice. Not sure what that means in terms of this weekend, but certainly the following week I would expect that she, uh, she'd be back in the lineup for us on two events, and that's encouraging. We've exercised what depth we had, and uh, so for this weekend the lineups may be pretty much the same, but um, but good signs are that we're, we're going to have some options here in a couple of weeks. So it's the Gym Quarters uh, event up on uh, St. Louis area on Friday and then back in the Maravich Center. We want to see you about 2 p.m. in the afternoon on Sunday. A great matinee. LSU, the Tigers of Missouri coming in. A good program that Absolutely. they have going for them as well and a chance for you to really get back in the winning ways there in the SEC. I know you and the Tigers are looking forward to that. Absolutely. Missouri is a, is a program that's on the rise. They're doing a great job. Uh, they're pushing, they're exceeding the 196 mark mm -hmm. consistently now. It's not a team that we can take for granted. We need our fans out there to kind of energize us and get, our, get us going on that Sunday afternoon. It's a little different time frame for everybody, uh, but an enjoyable one at, the, at, at that. And you can get the kids out after church, uh, get, them to a, get them to an event and have them home ready for dinner for school the next day. Hey, I tell you what, I, sign me up for a couple of tickets. I'll be there. I know you'll be there. And we want to see you in the Maravich Center on Sunday afternoon. And next week, we'll have all of the great highlights from both meets coming up on Friday and Sunday right here inside LSU Gymnastics. We'll see you next week.